forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe. Today we're going to be comparing Toontown Rewritten versus Toontown Corporate Clash. Now, before we begin to the video, I did a video yesterday comparing Disney's Toontown Online to Toontown Rewritten. So if you did not see that video, go ahead and check it out. Link will be down below in the bio. But today we're going to be comparing Toontown Rewritten to Corporate Clash. Now, Toontown Rewritten is literally the most manila version of Toontown. It's literally... Pretty much Toontown rewritten 2.0. It's literally the exact copy. The the factories are the same. The bosses are the same. Everything is the same pretty much to the T. Uh, they even have the silly meter in this game. You still don't have a sprint button. You still have all the original stuff. Um, I know they did add the slow button. I do not remember that being in Toontown Online, Disney's Toontown Online. Um, the catalog way is the same. The gag tracks are the same. The prestige is the same. The gag training is the same. Uh, the tasks are all the same. Everything is pretty much to a T. This is literally the most manila version of Toontown Online. Like, if you wanted to play Toontown Online 10 years later after it's gone, this is the Toontown version you will play. Okay? Literally everything is the same. There's probably very, very few minor changes. I haven't been on in so long to know the minuscule things that have changed. I've only read about them. So, now I'm going to show you guys Toontown Corporate Clash. So now I'm going to show you guys Toontown Corporate Clash. And I'm going to show you guys the created character stream because even this is different on this game. This is a 100% different version of Toontown. More for the, like, you know, the veterans, the more skilled players normally come to this game. So on this, you know, people love being Ubers, all that shit. So even on this, you can create if you want to be Ubers. You can play normally. You can play as a 15 laugh, bring it on. You can play as a 25 laugh, Uber. 34 laugh uber the whole nine man so it's pretty cool that you can kind of customize it any way you want then we go on to the gag shop so now you no longer start off with throwing square you actually get to pick what you want to start off with and it even tells you what it does so you know when i first started i didn't know what the hell zap was i didn't know you needed squirt to activate it so shit like that is very useful for new new players so as you can see they have a new zap a new uh gag called zap hits up to three but needs squirt and it says squirt high accuracy medium strength so basically if you have a prestige which is a whole other thing that i'll get into later in the video if you have a prestige you can hit three cogs with one zap which is very fucking cool it basically does three times damage so something would do six damage if it's squirted it'll do 18 damage so this is toontown corporate clash pretty much a completely different version of toontown with all new strategies all new facilities the whole exact nine so of course everybody has their christmas stuff going on so this is what the christmas stuff looks in Toontown Central, one of the biggest changes to this is the new Lawbot HQ boss. So before, you know, all the other version of Toontown, it is the CJ, and this one, it is called the Clo. So they even changed how, you know, the COG gallery works and stuff, and they added, they revamped the entirety of Lawbot. So as you can see, bottom features are different bloodsuckers. They even had a new ones like Petty Fogger, Needle Nose, uh, Convo, what's that, Convoy Answer, Advocate, Shyster, and they all do different stuff, you know, like certain ones, like I think it's the Barista, has a higher um, defense, so it's like shit like that, and then, um, like I was saying earlier, all new gags, you can pick what you want to prestige, so like prestiging in this game, um, so I have a tune-up prestige, so basically, if I use this, I'll get plus 48 heal back to myself, and I'll do plus 95 heal to somebody else, uh, sound, so basically, for every cog level um, that you use, if you have prestige sound, it does bonus damage, so, you know, if I'm sounding a level 15, I would do more damage than if I'm sounding a level you know, four or whatever the case may be. Squirt, like I said, it'll, instead of just squirting one cog, it'll squirt the other two cogs next to it, but it won't do damage. It'll do damage to the ones you selected, but it'll get them soaked so you can zap on it and do the triple damage, like I said. So, like, as you can see right here, skill credit times seven, but it's 66 damage, so 66 times three is what? I didn't go to college, bro. What is it? 192, I think. So that's if you prestige, and then, you know, if you prestige it, the damage fall off from each cog goes down lower. So there's a lot of cool stuff in this game, you know, Prestige Lord does bonus damage, Prestige Trap does an extra damage based on the cog's level, so if you, prestige, if you were to use a Prestige Trap on a level 15 cog, it'll do plus 15 damage to whatever the hell uh, trap you use. Drop Prestige gives you accuracy, so we no longer have to worry about drop always missing. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the new Lava HQ because they completely revamped that, and I think that's probably... One of the coolest things on this game, man. And if you guys have played Corporate Clash, I'm very curious as to why you don't, if you stop. Because a lot of people say they tried it and they stopped, they didn't like it. I don't know what people don't like or did like. So as you can see, this is the new Lawbot HQ. Has the oil fountain in the middle. This is where you go fight the Clo. And even this inside looks completely different, which I think is cool. Yes, I know. I don't have my suit. I actually just did a Clo on my live stream. Uh, Pizza Maker 8000 on Twitch if you ever want to see me live stream. So... 
looks completely different in here. Um, as you can see, you have somebody level Judge Judy right here, level 20 manager. And this is where you would go to actually end up fighting the Klo. Something special is coming right here. Um, hopefully, we'll get that soon. It's supposed to be like, I think they said they're adding hard mode to the bosses. So, like I said, the COG levels on this are a lot higher. You'll see a lot of different COGs. You know, level 12 is the highest on rewritten on here. You can, you know, we there's a level 50 at one point. It's a special boss. But, you know, they even have like level... 15 level 14 shit like that so a lot of different stuff to this this is like a completely different toontown game um let me pull up the motherfucking calendar here it goes so on monday you get merit monday so every cog defeater was 25 percent more merits activity tuesday you know you get 25 percent xp golf racing fishing trolley fish bingo you know it has it on that game trolley tracks has it on that game i'm not a big fan of trolley tracks Gag Farm and Friday. All gag experience multipliers are increased by one, which is very, very good for training. And Silly Debt Saturday basically just cycles through everything that happened all week. And then Surplus Sunday. Surplus Sunday, all boss rewards are increased. So the VP is different in this. Different mechanics of the VP. Um, CEO hits harder. There's a lot of different changes to this game. You get more. There's tiers of the, of the bosses. So you get more SOS cards fighting a higher tier VP. Same with Unites. Um, Unites no longer go up to... I, I burn all mine because I just troll with them. But Unites no longer go up to level 6 gags like they did in Toontown Rewritten. It goes up to level 5, which, you know, I'm not a big fan of. But it's whatever. And as you can see, you have an 8th gag track. So this 8th gag track you can use and you just buy it back. You don't have to worry about earning 500 XP to get it. You just get it back instantly, which I think is a very, very cool um part of this game and i having to get 500 xp just to use it so you can kind of use them all the time and of course the cog levels are higher for you buying gags the jelly beans are pretty much i think they had it in toontown written at one point they took it out i swear i remember it so basically um if i were to buy this it would be two jelly beans this is three so basically whatever level it is it's you know eight jelly beans for a level eight five jelly beans for a level five so if you buy three level fives you spend 15 jelly beans on Stuff, but you earn jelly beans a lot more in this game. Like every time you defeat a cog building, you get jelly beans. When you defeat cogs, you get jelly beans. When you defeat any boss, any anything you do, you get jelly beans. So it's not that hard to come by jelly beans. That's why stuff costs, you know, much more. Um, yeah, safe districts. I think that's in Toontown we're written, if I can remember. Another thing, another thing, another thing. The fishing is no longer you got to catch all 70s, 70. Yeah, you never no longer have to catch all 70 fish. It's basically just an XP bar. So I'm gonna go somewhere where I can fish so I can actually show you guys. So I'm gonna go to Mizzle's Melody Land. So basically, everybody would just farm on Tuesday. Same with golf. You know, it's a, such a hassle to try to finish golf. None of that shit is in here. It's just completely different, man. And it, it's a lot better, man. It, like took a lot of the grindiness out. You no longer have to do seven long factories for a for max merits for a vp which i think is phenomenal man so i think you only need like two two and a half i don't know they changed it since i stopped playing but yeah you only need two longs or like a long and a short something like that so yeah it's pretty cool man so i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the fishing i was talking about if it'll let me load on this motherfucker here we go so as you can see right here oh, i think i have to catch a fish to do it Oh, I must not show you an XP bar, because I think it's on maxed out. It doesn't show me an XP bar. Oh, there. Oh no, that's my fucking XP. But basically, yeah, you just get a leveling system, and every time you complete, you know, every 10 levels, you get XP. Same for the trolley. The trolley actually gives you the same thing. You no longer have to, you know, there's actually incentive to ride the trolley, because you get plus three laugh boosts for riding the trolley, which is, you know, great. Gardening is taken out completely, and for the prestige stuff, you get it basically, what is it? I think it's every 10 levels, you get a prestige point. If I remember where it's at, here it goes. So then you can buy your tracks. You no longer have to go through and do, you know, 18 tune task of trying to figure out something in order to get, you know, your gag track of your desire. And then you can prestige, you can unprestige you with the unprestige token or with money. Um, shit like that. Like, let's say, like, if I want to, I could have all eight gags, but I wouldn't be able to have them prestige. So then you can go six prestiges, two, you know, six and three. There's seven and one. Seven, which means seven gag tracks, only one prestige. So there's a bunch of different combinations of what you can do in this game. You can go eight and zero, oh, you can go three and three, four and three, whatever you want to do, man. So a lot of customization on this server, and I really like it. So yeah, man. I if you guys have never played Corporate Clash, I highly suggest giving it a chance. If you need any help, I got a list Discord link down below in the bio, and um. Yeah, if you guys have played Corporate Clash, you didn't like it, comment down below. Let me know what you guys don't like about it, what you do. I just don't understand how this server that runs perfectly, 1.1 fixed it, so it should have no problems loading up for people. Just doesn't run smoothly for 
you know, just doesn't get the, the respect it deserves. You know, as you can see, there's only 239 players online. There's probably like 15, 1,700 on rewritten right now. So comment down below. Let me know. Other than that, don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. It's your boy, Pizza Maker 8000. I'm out.